Hi, it's Don Sanders. I want to apologize to everybody. We are having some kind of problem on my end. It's not on Tiffany's end. So we're going to try and do the best we can here. And I hope that everybody can hear us. But I'm Don Sanders. And even in these trying times, we all have problems with different things. But I want to thank you for today for attending Building Coronavirus Products websites. And I want to tell you right now, this is really an important thing because going forward, things are never going to be the same as they were before. And I think if you focus on different products that have to do with the virus and how you can help your customers, that you're going to end up on the back of this, end of this better than you ever have been before. And I know that's optimistic thinking, but in a little bit, I'm going to tell you exactly why I think that. And my name is Don Sanders. I've been in the promotional products business for a long time. I've been a distributor for more than 35 years, and at one time, uh, myself and my ex-wife, a full-time assistant, and three SMU students sold over $100,000 a month. I did this as a full-time thing to make money. I turned down a lot of bad orders, but the reason that we were successful is I had really good customers, and the reason I had those customers is because I did things like building coronavirus websites. I mean, I did not do that exact thing back then. But the point of that statement is, is that I adapted every time that I needed to, to make sure that uh, we stayed ahead of the game. So a thing that I want to talk to you about is taking notes. I think that's going to be very important today because I've got some great supplier offers. And Tiffany is going to talk to you about virus web, web websites specifically. But if you'll get a pen and paper out and take some notes, I think it'll be very, very helpful for you. And I am going to say that your future depends on creating virus related websites. And what Distributor Central has is they have templates for several different websites. There's four of them I'm showing on the screen, delivery and curbside pickup, hygiene and safety, work from home essentials, school at home. And I think there's two or three more besides that. But with that said, I'm going to change the slide here and I'm going to let Tiffany talk to you. I don't think I'm going to be able to hear her, but she's going to talk to you for 30 seconds to make sure that I don't overrun. And in 30 seconds, I will start talking again and then we'll pick up the webinar and then we're finished. I'm going to let her discuss in detail with you exactly how to do this. So Tiffany, please speak. I, I won't hear you, but in 30 seconds, I'll be back. Okay, so I really appreciate everyone coming on a Saturday to join today's session. Um, I'm going to show you um, through Distributor Central how you can build a niche and market specific website in just a couple of clicks. Distributor Central has been working with our suppliers to curate a set of products that are ready to go, just like Don said, that are work at home essentials, products for the kids um, working, doing schooling at home, a PPP, PPP. Um, e essential products and also our healthcare heroes and how to and how to support them and we've been working with our suppliers to curate that set of products into a template that you can use in about five minutes or we can do it for you um, and curate a website that's ready to go and market specific and use other social media or email marketing tools to promote those products in the last couple of weeks I have had distributors call me and say how thankful they are that they had that they were able to generate orders i had one this week um that said as soon as she uh, got her website up, 30 seconds and i'm talking over tiffany i'm sorry but we're <laughs> trying to do the best way we can today and i really want to thank you all for your patience now one thing that i would like to talk to you about is don't be paralyzed by the next life altering event i know for a lot of people in the promotional products business this is the first time they've ever been through anything like this I've done it for a long time and I've been through four or five life-changing events like this with my business. And I wanna to talk to you about that history and the way that it'll help you overcome what we have going on now. But one thing I wanna show you on the screen right now is Distributor Central has a $5 off an order program to where a lot of, a lot of the big great suppliers on Distributor Central will give you a little discount on your orders if you enter them through their order processing system. Now, the life-altering events that I'm going to mention are the real estate crash in 1986. I had been in this business buying two or three years, and I had some pretty good accounts. Fortunately, I was not selling oil and gas and big real estate companies like a lot of my competitors were who just went out of business because they had all their eggs in one basket. I lost 40% of my business in one day in 1991 with the Dallas Times-Herald. 
was bought out by the Dallas Morning News. So 40% of my business disappeared in one day. I had to figure out an alternate plan to uh, rectify that. 9-11, uh, that was an, another life altering event for people. A lot of people just lost a lot of business. Things just got really dramatic at that time. And in the stock market crash of 2008, I lost about 30, 40% of my business because people just stopped buying things. I mean, the market just collapsed and all the banks collapsed. And you talk about being a, an unusual time. That was pretty much just about what we've had now. So these four things I've been able to navigate. And the reason I did is I always tried to make myself be prepared. And one reason I'd be prepared is like with name badges. A lot of people are gonna be coming back to work. In fact, I'm gonna to go to dinner tonight for the first time I've been to dinner in a restaurant in two months. They're now open in Dallas, so we're gonna do social uh, separation or whatever and go out. But a lot of the people at the restaurant I'm going to will be new or will not have come back. So that restaurant's probably gonna need name badges. Just put that in your thought tank about a product line that you can sell because a lot of bars and restaurants and even retail stores will be needing new name badges. And I just want to make my pitch for ID Line. I know Eric Johnson that owns that company for a very long time. That's a family owned business. He's an upfront guy and they are who I order all my name badges from. There's a nice screen charge on the screen right now and there's a little window badge ad. But if you'd like to have a sample kit, it's Jay Anders at idline.com and all these emails will be put in one uh, folder at the end of the webinar. Now, my business virus moment in 91 was when the Times Herald went out of business. Now, I was certainly not prepared for that, just like a lot of distributors were not prepared for what's been happening before the virus and now during the virus. But I'm telling you, I had to scramble and I had to come up with an account replacement plan and I had to come it up, come up with it quickly. I was probably doing about five or $600,000 at that time of year. And I lost 40% of that the day that the Times Herald closed. They sent out faxes saying that all purchase orders had been closed, not closed, had been canceled. And I had a 5,000 piece t-shirt order in for their marketing department. And I'm telling you, I had about a buck 50 a shirt made off of those. So that was $7,500 that went down the drain that day. I need to say I was freaked out about that. And one thing I'd like for you to notice during the show is our free screen charge offer for Sticker U. You can buy one sticker from them. And Trainer, second company that I ever placed an order with, they are great right now for products needed for takeout food services. So what I did when the Dallas Times Herald went out of business, I developed a card program where if you returned a uh, bounce back card to me, you got a free gift. The first one of these I started out was giving you a pair of Fisker scissors in that custom made box that you're seeing on the screen right now. We mail these cards to funeral homes, insurance agencies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna go into that whole program, but the way I got my business back is I did something a little different and offered gifts for return. So that was my way back then of adjusting to what was a life altering event for me. And my point is, is you've got to always be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. This is gonna happen again. I'm not trying to be a naysayer, but you know, this virus might come back uh, in the fall, I've heard that, but then maybe another virus comes along. That's not anything I can do about. All I can do as a human being is adjust myself, so make sure it doesn't too much da do damage to me again. And being scared is not an alternative. I know too many people that are just like that woman. She's all looking out there and she doesn't know what to do. And the reason she didn't know what to do is she's gonna end up like Blockbuster Video. Obviously Blockbuster was not prepared for what was coming. They put all their eggs in one basket of uh, renting videotapes. What if they had been like Netflix and started mailing things to people? And look what Netflix has become in comparison to Blockbuster. So don't be like Blockbuster Video and that woman hiding on the screen. And here are two great screen charges on the screen. Jim Pyre, I'm gonna talk about Harvey Mackler being a great person in a little bit. And Burlicamp is a great American-made supplier. Now the virus did not start this business disruption. It did not. This started last September when the U.S. came out raising tariffs on Chinese imports. You talk about fouling up order flows. That's where this started. You cannot blame this on the virus. And what you should have done then is have American-made websites ready. 
to go after all your customers because a lot of distributors made the mistake of selling orders for these mega suppliers that are all dependent on those boats coming from China. When that stopped happening, those distributors had problems. Like Trainer, which you saw on the screen right now, and Drumline, if you had orders in with them, that your order would not have been disrupted at all because those orders did not come on a ship. So if you had American-made websites going, maybe you would be showing American-made cups from Pepco. That was an American-made company. Pepco I've worked with for a long time. It's great prices on stadium cups. They're on the screen right now. Pepco can ship your orders today. They could ship your orders back then. When you were trying to get these cups from a mega supplier, they didn't even know what the price of the cups were going to be. So if you'd like to have cup samples, it's Jay Meyer at pepcopromotional.com where you showing American made products in before tariffs were announced. You could have been because Berla Camp has motorcycle products. I'm gonna push these suppliers because you're going to need them when you build these websites because you're gonna to wanna to make sure the suppliers you have can back you up and do what they're supposed to do. And Berla Camp has license plate frames and kick pad stand Pucks, that's what they call them, pucks, but what they are is they hold up your cycle. What a great product that is. You can get those samples from sales at burlicamp.com. Did you have American-made journals on your product list? I doubt it. Drumlines in Stuttgart, Arkansas, my goodness. They're so far away from that, from uh, the importing problem like that. They could turn those buyer, those those day timers, and not day timers, those journals is in two days and they can still do that. That's Gaddison at drum-line.com if you want to show journals. Were you showing products from Minnesota suppliers? A lot of people were not. 3M has a great self-promotion right now on 250 notepads, which are six by eight in size, and ID line I talked to you about on those name badges. There's no hold up with them. They can turn those orders. They can turn those orders back when that tariff problem came up and you thought tariffs were a problem. Now this was worse. Let's say you were having, you had American made sites going. Well, if you did, you were good to go because on February 11th, 2020, I put this out in a webinar that I did a week after that. And I pulled this up off Promogram and that said that the supply chain would be broken down even more. And when I looked at those people on that subway, in China, I thought, you know, that's not really ever going to happen here like that. Well, good grief, it ended up doing that. So those American-made sites, there's 2467 on the screen right now, you would not have had any disruption with your orders ever if you were pre-planning. Mega suppliers stop distributors' order flows. Here's another thing I pulled off of that same news site. Mega suppliers were too dependent on China products. I'm telling you, you've got to build sites to be prepared for what's happening. Because I know a lot of y'all had orders with big suppliers. You couldn't even get a straight answer out of them. You talk about being upset, nothing would upset me more than having an order and I can't get delivered. But pay attention to my drumline coupon right there. That would not have happened if you'd used drumline. I just want to talk about these family suppliers. You'll be patient with me because I, I'm telling you, this is going to be good for you in the long run. Burla Camp has been in business, which I seen, I think, forever. You can see Kim Burla Camp down there at the bottom right of the screen. That's what he looks like today. But if you look to the left there, you'll see him working. And I guess that was his dad's booth at a show back in what, the 1970s. And there he is at the bottom in the middle working a PPAI show. I think that's in the 80s or the early 90s. But there is his dad and his mother, and these are old shows. This is the point I'm showing you is this company's been around and they're not going anywhere. And if you've been buying from somebody like this, you would have never had a problem. And I want to talk to you about Southern Plus. I'm going to talk about them in this website because you need to put their products on your coronavirus sites because they are prepared. Bertha Adams that owns that company is one of the nicest people I have ever met. She owns and runs Southern Plus. They are a great supplier to deal with. You ever have a problem, you can call her on the phone and there's your phone number right there on the phone, I'm right there on the screen. Mega suppliers are not obtainable. You can't get to them. You don't even know who owns them. 
So I'm going to talk a little bit about Southern Plus in this webinar just because I think they're the type of supplier that can help you get a lot of business because they are a family-owned supplier who cares. And there's a nice little order coupon for the order up on the showing on the screen. And their website is southernplus.com. Now, one of the first one of these sites I want to talk to you about is work from home essentials. Everybody has been working from home, or let's say 99% of people. And I don't care if this, uh, if we're lifting in Texas now, which they did yesterday, I haven't been out anywhere, but I'm gonna go tonight. But you know what? I'm still gonna work from home next week. And a lot of people are gonna be working from home for extended period of times. And some people are not ever gonna stop working from home. I think a lot of companies are going to outsource their work to people because the less people in offices, even when they open, the better the health standards are going to be. So how about work from home? Southern Plus has aprons. Have you been trying to sell aprons to people? What a great item that would be to send to customers who are working at home. I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home. I have been. I went to KFC the other day, I got some chicken, but I had to eat in my car. And I went to another place to try to eat a salad in the car. Well, that's not really, it's just not really easy. So I gave up on that and brought the, the, the salad home and ate it for lunch. What a cool item that is. is how about sending your customers a apron? You'll be able to find those products on your Work From Home Essentials website. And on that same website, you can sell things that people use at work as home products. I mean, people that people need when they're at home. That, how about laundry bags? You thought about showing laundry bags to people they're doing a lot more laundry at home kids are home they give kids a little job show them how to do laundry have them put their dirty laundry in those laundry bags i think that's such a creative product there's the chef's aprons on the screen umbrellas on these takeout containers the mega totes the shopper baskets people are going back to the store in texas you cannot take your own things back in the grocery store you have to use our disposable bags, but I keep those things in the back of my car and I take those little plastic bags. I get about 20 of them. They only put like two or three products in each one, but I put as many in those in my totes and I can take them from my car in the house much more easily, if that's proper grammar. Let's talk about another health, happy home or promote healthy happiness home at website. This mono, mono stick by Snug Z. Snug Z, in fact, going to buy hand sanitizer. That's where I'm going. They cannot ship now. It's not going to be shipping in two or three days. Don't be calling them saying you can get it in two days. Sanders said that. I don't know what their order is on that. Four to six weeks. But I, Snug Z's, they're great at hand sanitizer. But this cool little product they have on the screen right now. That goes on the back of your phone. It makes a stand. You can, you can get a sample of that at Samples Room at SnugZUSA.com. I think it's a nice product, just like I think those drumline journals are great to send to people at home. You could send those to gifts and encourage your customers to buy these and send them to their customers. I'm just trying to think out of the box here and honestly help you. And you can get those samples from Gaddison at drum line. Dot com And here's this little Momo stick. I thought it was called a mono stick till I got to look in that to them. But that's a terrific little cool product that anybody would absolutely love to have. And that comes from Snugs. Now let's talk about yard signs being on your own site. These are from Pepco. And I just did my exercise walk this morning and I walked by two houses in my neighborhood. They have these signs out in people's yards. So these are these uh, children's birthday parties with 40 kids running around that i don't know if that's ever going to come back with that type of attendance there'll be some kind of celebrations but i have seen these things all the time out in the yard they're so cool pepco has these and they can ship these kits immediately like in a day or two again it's j meyer at pepcopromotional.com there's a free screen charge for pepco but my goodness how much money would you be making right now if you had a company that offered these to people? Everybody in the world would be calling you wanting to come set those up. I'm not trying to get in that business. I'm just telling you these signs by Pepco are oh so cool. 
Now, a mistake that suppliers or not uh, distributors make is they'll build these virus websites and they don't have any supplier mentors. I am telling you, when I started my business, I was well-meaning, I'd been a pretty good salesman. I got some big multi-line reps to pay attention to me back when multi-line reps were a thing to see. I mean, that was the only way to learn about products. There was not as many trade shows, there was certainly not a web presence, but I had three big supplier reps with the best lines in Dallas come out and talk to me, actually made sales calls with me, and I got some great big accounts by them going with me, making me look legitimate and getting nice customers. Now, I don't want anybody to go with me today, but what I want to do is have supplier mentors. And Brandon Craig at Southern Plus, I know him so well. He's a well-meaning person. He can help you. They have the greatest website. It has all kinds of great product videos, mailers. You can email Brandon and say, email, Brandon, I've got a customer that wants to buy some umbrellas, but I don't think they should buy this one. Tell me how to turn that deal. Can you help me? He can. It's Brandon at southernplus.com. I know Harvey Mackler. Harvey sponsors all my websites. I've known Harvey for good grief, 30 years. Harvey is one of the most well-meaning people I know in this industry. Jim Lyon, not Jim Lyon, Jim Pyre does not mess around. Look at all the things on that, on that sheet on the left there that Harvey will help you with. All you got to do is email Harvey or call him. He'll help you. He knows about product ideas, case studies. He'll give you sound advice. There's his phone number on the screen. You can call that man and he will call you back. You try and call a, a big supplier and say, I want to talk to the owner. They're going to say, I don't even know who our owner is. Mega suppliers do not have time for you, but I am telling you people like Harvey Mackler do. Now let's talk about a hygiene and safety coronavirus product side. There are a lot of products that are going to be so important now going forward. One of those are outdoor mats. Mats are going to be used more than ever. They're going to be required. I bet they ended up becoming a required product for some restaurants and bars because when you wipe your feet going in the door, that obviously keeps germs out of the facility. And Logo Mats has the mats that I would recommend. But before we talk about mats, I want to go and show you something. I guarantee you this is the first time you have seen this. Stop trying to sell these stupid masks. The cut the strip. Apologize, I shouldn't say it that way. Stritters email me every day play, trying to sell these masks. They're not getting delivered. They're getting themselves in a jam. How about selling mask holders? Somebody, some, there's got to be a product that will hold a mask. And Ads on Magnets has eyeglass holders. This is where I came up with this idea. You see it on the screen there? That's a magnetic backing that you put under your shirt, put under your blouse, goes on the front. Instead of hanging glasses from it, I hang your mask. Instead of selling these masks and running around trying to compete with somebody and it being out six or seven weeks, you can call Steve Brown at ads, at ads on Magnets and he can ship these things for you in two or three days out of Castle Rock, Colorado. I thought this up the other day. I thought, oh my goodness, there's so many masks being sold. Why isn't anybody selling mask holders? This is something you can show your customers and they will pay attention to you. Back on the mats. Miles Wadsworth at Logo Mats is who you need to contact about this. It's logomatsllc.com. His email's down there at the bottom of the screen. 5% off an order with Logo Mats. Every office building is going to need a wash your hands mat. So don't tell me there's not anything to sell these people because when these old buildings open up, they're going to need these mats to notify people about clean hygiene and in restrooms. Mats are going to be needed in restrooms. As a reminder, look at that one on the floor, wash your hands. I don't care if we have the common sense tells people to wash their hands. There are some people that will not do it and you've got to tell them what to do. So wash your hands mats are something you can sell to 
every bar, restaurant, hotel, everybody that has a restroom that other people use, what a product that is to be selling. And how about a mat in office buildings that have hand sanitizers? I, pro I promise we're almost finished with mats here, but hygiene mat samples from M. Wadsworth at LogoMatsLLC.com. I'm just trying to teach you, to, trying to show you products you can sell that people will buy. How about antimicrobial mouth, mouse pads on your specific site? This is a product that's never going to go away here. Same as the name badge over J. Anders at IDLine.com. Everybody would like to have an antimicrobial mouse pad. How about virus reminder stickers? Have you been selling those? Sticker you? I help them with their marketing. That's why I'm talking about them. These social distancing decals that go on the floor. I went to Tom Thumb yesterday at a grocery store up here in my neighborhood. They have those on the floor of the, of the location I went into. What if you were able to sell those to Tom Thumb? My goodness, I don't know how many Tom Thumb stores there are, but the, everybody who's going to be opening is going to have to have those stickers, just like they're going to have to have stickers for walls or windows. And you can go, you can email sfields at stickeru.com for these, and they'll send you a cool sample or an email about this. They have those products. Now, People are going to say, Don, how am I going to promote my virus site? I've got this site. Now, what the heck do I do about it? Well, you would do it in any common sense message by leaving voice messages with your customers and saying, I'm going to send you a text or an email with the site to my new site, uh, this, the, the link to my new site. Look at it and see what the cool products you can check out that are Jermaine, let's use that word for what is going on now. You can forward product videos to them talking about your site. You can mail product flyers with a handwritten note saying you can find this on my site. This is how you pitch them just like you would yourself. And I sent out, I included this in my last webinar, but I sent a cute little message with the first day I went out with my pink uh, medical grade mask. I look like uh, I'm scared to death there, but you know what? I got three reorders and one of them I got was for mats that I sold for logo mats to my storage warehouse customer. You know what? There's not anybody buying, but they bought three mats from me. And so that got me an order just like you presenting your website properly will. And you can help clients do business at home. We're talking, still talking about that. Send drumline self-promotion journals to customers right on the first page. You open the journal up right on the first page. You can find this product on my specific work at home site, my hygiene site, whatever site you want to pitch, write that on the first page of that journal and send it to your customers. I guarantee you they'll open that up and they'll read your message and they will think that is oh so cool. I know that I would, so self-promotion orders, Drumline or Gaddison at drum-line.com. Now I use Facebook for business, fun, and dogs. Same thing that you can pitch your virus-related site on. I'm up there with Wayne Newton, you know, it's Las Vegas to see him. I might be crazy, but I actually like the guy. And I sat right up on the front row and I got to go up on the screen and sing a song with him. It was pretty pitiful, but I tried. There I am. I went whitewater rafting in Durango, Colorado. I'm the bald head one on the right there. I'd never done that before. And in 2001, I was on Price is Right. There's Rod Roddy with me. And on the bottom right is my dog, Betty Ann Sanders, who had to be put down three and a half weeks ago of liver cancer. She was a good girl to the end. Her sister survived as, as her smaller sister, little Ruber. And I posted that on my Facebook account and you can't believe how many people sent me condolences. That's how you build relationships. So those are four pictures I've used that I have actually gotten business interest from. You can post custom flyers on your Facebook and linked account. Southern Plus has got 40 of them. They're on the screen right now. I'm, I'm not pushing these suppliers on you because of, well, 
obviously I, I want to help them, but I would never talk to you about a supplier who did not be someone who would help you. You can post your logo on these sites, on not on these sites, on these flyers and make them custom and email them or mail them to your customers. Southern Plus has product videos have 87 of these little brief product videos get on their website capture those links and send them to people like those camo coolers people that like to hunt man i'm telling you they're going to be back out hunting shooting people love to do that fitness products square umbrellas tailgating products that tailgating will come back in september in some form or fashion i don't know if it's going to be the way it was but this type of stuff that you email to your customers is the way that you get business. Just like on the floor mats I talked to you about before, that's going to be a hot selling product. Logo mats has got some great flyers. You can mail these or email them to customers. We're almost finished with the flyers. Please be patient with me. I'm trying my best. Post these flyers for home workouts. I, I, I'm trying to exercise regularly. I go to the, the downtown Y three times a week. I haven't been down there in two months. So I've been working out at home, trying to do my stretching and do my push-ups and walking the dogs. But man, I'm telling you, what if somebody, one of my customers sent me one of these workout bags or things like that? I would think, how cool is that? How about that cool tote up there at the right? These are great for home workouts. Summer flyers are coming up. You can sell summer products. The one in the middle there, that's one personalized with my Don Sanders marketing logo and my shoes. If y'all don't know about my shoes, I'm not gonna go in that to that now, but that's our marketing brand. It gets me a lot of business. So when I send a flyer like that with something different, I think I get it looked at more so than people that just have a logo that says, I sell millions of products, millions of products, or I'm the cheapest around. Brandon at southernplus.com. Remember, I talked to you about being a mentor. He can help you with this. Now, out of the box thinking is really required right now. It's not going to be business as usual. It's going to be all different going forward. And I have traded our products for services for my vet for 13 years. And Logo Mats has pet related mats. And there's Betty Ann up there. She was a good girl to the end. I did a trade out since I've been doing a trade out with the vet. When I took Betty out there, I cried on the way out there. I was terrible. And I left her and, you know, they put her down. I could not be there. I was just too, I just couldn't do it. I wonder, I wonder, remember her being alive, but they took care of that. And you know what? I haven't even gotten a bill from them for that. I don't even know what that service cost. But I know that I was like $1,600 ahead with my vet on some bags and different things I'd sold them. I didn't even get a bill. So the fact that I would traded my products for our vet services, I actually was able to, it didn't cost me as much because I'd been making 40, 45% off of my products they've, I sold to them. So do trade outs with people. You might trade out with your pizza, the company you like. You might trade out with, the dry cleaners you use, you just never know. It works for me with a vet, and I tell people about this because they haven't even thought about it before. It's M, M. Wadsworth at LogomassLLC.com for that. Now, I want to talk to you about a little out-of-the-box thinking here again. One of my best friends is a cosmetic dentist here in town. They are opening Monday. They're going back to work on Monday. Their office has been deep cleaned and this and that. But a little thing about dentists, a lot of dentists are flat out poor at marketing. They don't know how to get patients in there. They think they open up a dental office and people show up. That's not how it works. The dentist I work with has been in business a long time. She'll be good because she's good at marketing. But that dentist office right there that has a front door, at the back door, they have an employee entrance. I know. I've been, I've called on a lot of dentists. So get bottled water with your logo and you get it from Alexis Springs and take two bottled waters by the dental offices. Like if I had that bottle of water, I would be out doing that tomorrow because I know they're not there tomorrow, but on Monday when they come in that back door, there'd be two bottles of spring water out there with a note that says, let me help you with your marketing. When you come back, I'm really good at it. I guarantee you, 
they'll look at that and they'll think, what's up with that? Then wait till the next Sunday, go take it again. I used to mail people like this and then call them, but be different. Go by there and leave it again. And I'm telling you, you'll get calls off of this because don't leave it at the front door, leave it at the back where the doctor, the decision maker comes in. And you can get this water from Alexis Springs. 12 cases is all you gotta buy. I think there's 24, 36 bottles a case. If you can't use 300 bottles of water, you don't even need to be in this business. But you can get a 12 cases. I think the screen charge is 50, and I think the water is 20 a case or something like that. Please don't quote me on that. I'm being honest, I don't know exactly. That's pretty close. But you get bottled water with your logo like that, and you can get that from Brian at alexasprings.com. Let's think out of the box. You're not gonna get it by walking in there. They're not gonna talk to you walking in the front door. Last thing, last thing they want is somebody they're trying to sell them when they're trying to do their patients. But when they're not there, leave it at the back door. And you can do that with other companies, manufacturers, places like that. You can't get in the front door, but leave it around there in the back door where the decision making maker goes in. And I want to talk to you about emergency price decreases. A lot of lying about this, not just on bottled water, but I've seen a lot of suppliers putting this malarkey out that they're lowering their prices to help you. I saw two bottled water companies come out and say that they had lowered their price out of concern for your well being. Well, one of them was 55 cents on an R, the other one was 57 cents on an R. Well, Alexa Springs has been 48 cents on an R for two months. So don't fall for suppliers saying they're cutting you a break by lowering their price. They're only thinking about themselves. So when you see emergency price decreases, let's look into that a little bit further. Alexa Springs has the best water in the industry. It is spring water from Mount Atta, Arkansas, and you can buy with them and be trust them. Now, I've watched the Tiger King. And a lot of people love that show. A lot of people think that's a sick group of people, but I watched it. How about Tiger King products? Pepco has got Tiger King themed foam hats. You're seeing right there on the screen. You talk about something cool to pitch to people. You can get samples from J Meyer at pepcopromotional.com or Burlicamp. I talked to you about the motorcycle products. They are coming out with a line of Tiger King bag tags and key tags. They are not developed, but there is the concept art and pricing on the screen. That might change, but you can email sales at burlacamp.com and say, you know what? I sure would like to see some Tiger King samples. The same way with Pepco. Trying to teach you to think out of the box like leaving the water at the door. Now, this is very important about overpromising on PPE items because when you have your virus sites built, obviously there's going to be some sites with masks, gloves, maybe some with gowns. You need to make sure that you're getting accurate information on that because a lot of these importers will tell you anything to get your business. You will even prepay the orders, and then they don't tell you what's going on. Gene Few, I've known for KTI Promo, is an upfront guy. He sent me that article from the Wall Street Journal about export curbs keep medical supplies stuck in China. Well, he came out and said, Don, don't, print, don't show my products too much because I don't want to be dishonest with people. I don't think we can deliver all the time. Let's just wait. I thought that was so admirable. Like he's got oral thermometers right now, 545 on an R, 1,000 piece minimum. Don't call him and say, I need these in three days. That's not going to happen. But Gene will be honest with you and say, maybe I can get them in four weeks. Maybe I can get them in six. But when you sell them, tell your customers the truth. Don't go out there and sell them and tell them you can get them. Even if the supplier's telling you that they can, they don't have any control over what goes on with China customs. A lot of distributors don't know this. I know that because I deal with several suppliers who have import products. So Gene has agreed to be the true fact person. You have any questions about PBA products, email Gene and say, you know what, Gene, I need some gowns. 
when do you think I can get them? Don't be demanding or say, I want them in eight days. It's going to tell you I can't. I'm honest. I can't. Who knows when you're going to get them? But like the non-contact thermometers, I think those are going to be the most readily available. But if you have any problems with it, <coughs> email gene at ktipromo.com. It's Gene Few. And for a little uh, uh, inside of this, that KTI is the first flyer in the industry to bring in imprinted flash drives, or not flash drives, uh, imprinted uh, memory sticks. I can't, I got my brain's not working right now. But he is so, so honest. Now let's post case studies on LinkedIn. That's a great way to post those flyers I talked to you about from Southern Plus. But here's a case study specifically to picnic baskets that were bought from Southern Plus used for the grocery store chain to get people to come in to the grocery store for a certain uh, uh, promotion with a barbecue company who had coupons in the basket. I'm not saying this is something you need to be pitching now, but I'm telling you, Southern Plus has all kinds of case studies. You send this to people, they're gonna think that you know what you're talking about for their best interest. Just like using hygiene standards, they're gonna be more than ever. Post this on LinkedIn about logo mats being needed to keep dirt and dust out of buildings. It makes you, it, it takes off their liability because it helps with slips and falls. This type of information is what's gonna get you business. Buyers of products right now that might be, that you might, you know, go right after. Let's say you get all the funeral homes in town. Maybe you had their email address. Maybe you found out the texting, maybe you text the owner of funeral homes. Well, funeral homes and mortuary services are buying now. They've got more business than they can keep up with. Mats and bottled water are two things you would want to focus on your site because bottled water helps people in time of stress. Spring water is a better water for you. And mats are needed by funeral homes when people come up to the funeral home to go in. And a thing that people don't know, they're also needed when cars go out in the cemetery and the uh, family wants to get out of the car, they'll place mats on the ground. So when they get out of the car, they don't get their feet muddy. Realtors are still operating. Make sure you put mats on your hygiene sites because realtors need them to put on the front porches of their show houses. There's not many open houses now, but a realtor is gonna show a buyer six houses. They would go to all six houses and put a mat at the front door. So when they show up with that buyer, the buyer sees Susan Melnick, Virginia Cook, then she takes them to the next house. There's the same mat at that door. And I would think that realtor was slick and somebody that put that much thought into the showing to keep my feet clean would be somebody I would want to buy from. Cell operating factories. There are factories that are still operating. I talked about Burlicamp being an American made company. Sales at Burlicamp.com. Manufacturing companies are buying signs for their products. An event is coming up. Pride Month is in June. So if you need pride products, this is a market that I used to sell back in the 90s when not many people would sell the pride market. But I got a lot of business from the Turtle Creek Corral, which was the largest gay men's chorus in America. They were based in Dallas. They had 200 singers. I sold them all kinds of pride products. You need to be thinking about things that are going to be happening. Pride Month, which is in June, there will be some events on a limited basis, but Brandon Graney at McConnellline. It's Brandon at McConnellline.com. I know McConnellline very well. They have Pride products. Now let's talk about a Support Our Healthcare Heroes website. It's one of the ones you can get from Distributor Central. Recognition products are going to be needed on those. People need lapel pins. People should buy those or you should buy those from Harvey at Gempire, who I've recommended being a mentor. He has all kinds of healthcare products, which should be included on your virus website for this particular topic. 
He also has a shoulder strap wrap. He has a stethoscope charm. There are all kinds of cool little products from Harvey at Gympire, which you can use because recognition products, a lot of hospitals have cut their buying because it's kind of a funny time now, but one buying they will be doing will be rewards for healthcare workers and volunteers. Here's another thing from Southern Plus about blankets. Nurses get cold in hospitals because it does get cold in hospitals. And when they're on break, a great blanket would be a nice gift as all those products to the left are made by Southern Plus and they are all suited for health care heroes. Now delivery and curbside pickup. Here is another specific site that you can get from Distributor Central. Delivery and curbside pickup is going to be big business for the rest of time. It's not going to be as big business 10 years from now as it is now, but it's going to still be going. But I'm telling you, for about the next year or two, selling delivery and curbside pickup is going to be the way to go. Food trucks are open. Food trucks need napkins, cups, and bottled water to get to sell. Bottled water would come from Alexis Springs, Brian at AlexisSprings.com. Trainer has the imprinted napkins. They have everything. They have stirrer sticks. They have disposable cups. They have eco cups that can be recycled. They're perfect for food trucks. That's Jamie H at trainergraphics.com. You cannot say that restaurants are not buying packaging. They are. Food packaging is, is hot. You can get samples from trainer, Jamie H at trainergraphics.com. You should be calling on every local restaurant to sell them custom packaging. I had this thought two days ago. Southern Plus has rain ponchos. How about selling these to restaurants who need delivery or delivery services that come and pick up the food farm? Every time somebody comes by for one of these services, they give them a poncho with that restaurant's logo on it. The driver is obviously going to take it and put it in his car. What a great product that is to go sell restaurants. Anybody with takeout that gives those to the delivery drivers who then, then wear them and the delivery driver goes up to a door delivering, a, let's say, delivering a, a uh, order from a fried chicken place, but let's say the barbecue place that gave them, gave them the poncho, that's a little advertising for that restaurant. Southernplus.com has those. Now, we're talking about those delivery packaging stickers. How about that? Make sure that the delivery driver has not opened that container. I've even heard gross stuff about them eating out of them. The ones I've been getting lately, they're sealed up pretty tight to make sure that that didn't happen. Sticker U has got stickers for food delivery services to use, or not for food delivery services, but for the restaurants to use to put on the seams of these boxes or on cups on the top to keep from the lids not be taken off. That's another market that is big. S Fields at StickerU.com for those. Now, promote healthy habits from home. Here's another website, School at Home. School at Home is going to be, maybe we come out next fall and we have school half a day and then half a day at home. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be some way done differently than it's been done before. Pepco has got these Color Me products. They have pennants and they have magnets that come with Crayolas and you can color these in any color that you would like. What a neat product this is for younger kids at home. Heck, I was so immature when I was 16 or 15 years old, I acted like an idiot. If you'd probably get in one of these, I'd probably sit there and colored it at that age. I mean, I, it, it's just the way I was back then, but that's a cool product from Pepco. Now we're almost finished here. I want to talk to you about controlling your customers. Do not let your customers push you around. The minimums on these products are the minimums because that's what the supplier has to do to make the order. They don't want to make less than that because they're not going to make any money. Don't bully suppliers into saying, oh, you know what? The minimum is 250. I only need 100. Yeah, nah, nah. It's 250. Tell your customers that. If they don't like it, 
don't sell them. Because if you let your customers push you around, they're going to push you around to the day you go out of business. That's a big problem with like these masks and gowns. I help people try and, uh, try and send those to the right suppliers to make them. Well, the minimum on those masks might be a thousand. Well, I only need 150. Well, they're not going to do 150. If your customer can't buy the thousand, call on somebody else. And I'm not being harsh on this, but I see too many distributors wanting these suppliers to cut them a break. And the supplier can't make the products unless they make a certain quantity. And if you'll use this and stand up to your customers, 80, I don't know, I'm not going to say a percentage, but a great majority of the time they'll say, okay, if that's what I got to buy, I got to buy. Not only have you gotten a larger order, but the customer has learned that they cannot push you around. And I've done webinars before on controlling your customers, and I do another one that tells you you can't let them push you around. Now, I'm going to tell you to be prepared with virus selling sites because Dr. Fauci, that's the best I've ever look, seen him look in that suit right there. He says that the virus might come back in the fall. Do not be like me. When I lost my largest account, the Dallas Times Herald, I was not prepared. So don't be like me. I am speaking from true experience. But there's a great coupon for Alexis Springs and one for ID line on the screen. But get prepared because something might happen. Now, I want to pitch these mask holders to you again. If you don't contact Steve Brown at adzonemagnets.com, you're behind the curve. He can talk to you about those, ship those things out. If you'll get some samples of these, get him to do some custom flyers for you, like the one on the screen with your logo, and send that to your customers in place of selling these masks. Stop selling these masks, they're a problem. Sell these. This is an American made product from Colorado that can be shipped quickly. Steve Brown, there's his phone number at the bottom right of the screen in the extension, or there's his email. I am telling you, you'll be the first person that's ever gone out to show somebody mask holders. Another product they have are these virus reminder boards. If you've been selling virus reminder boards, they are five by seven magnets, is what they are that go on a metal service where it says service, like it says, remember your mask, sell these boards. People can use them in their home. People can use them in their break room at their office. You can change the message daily. This is the type of stuff you need on your sites. And it's also what you need to be selling people. Again, Steve Brown is the contact. Now, after the presentation is over, that's one more slide for me, and then Tiffany's going to go. I have, we have, Harvey and I have put together a new book on how to sell promotional products. I offer this in every one of my webinars. If you would like to have a sample chapter sent to you, if you'll email me after the presentation, Harvey Mackler will send you the sample. And as soon as the webinar is downloaded, here's my email, don at sellpromoproducts.com. If you would like, I will send you the replay link of the, of the presentation. Harvey will send you the book. Now, here are all of the emails from everybody I've talked about in the webinar. After the webinar is over, I will send that to you. There's Steve Brown with the uh, those cool mask holders. He's on there, as are the uh, Color Me products, etc. I want to appreciate. I want to tell you how much I appreciate you listening today. And I'm sorry we had technical difficulties, but I uh, I am going to sit here and uh, Tiffany is going to talk to you. She's going to change the screen to her computer now. And she's going to talk for 10 minutes or so. Please listen to her. She's one of the most well-meaning people that I know and really cares about you. And then when she's finished at, at 10 minutes, we'll shut the webinar off. But I want to thank you so much for listening, and, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. All right. Thanks, everybody. Don, thanks so much. Um, I know you can't hear me, but thanks. Um, I will go quickly. I know that this is a Saturday, but um, my name is Tiffany Tarr. I'm the Vice President of Sales at Distributor Central. And we have been working very, very diligently to help distributors get websites and product collections 
together so that you can quickly shift and pivot with the market and start selling these types of products to your customers. Um, I was saying earlier, we've had so many distributors call and say as soon as they put the website together and they got it out to their customers, they started creating orders. They started generating orders by just bundling the ideas together without having to um, to put together like a lot of technical, with no technical skills, they were able to do that. If you're on today's session, Distributor Central is a completely free resource. Everything that we do for distributors, we do at no cost. If you don't have an account or you don't know your username and password, just go to um, just go to distributorcentral.com's website and you can register and we'll send you usernames and passwords to get started. But what I'm gonna talk about today is that website that um, Don was sharing with you. This is the website template. And what we did is we went through and we curated product sets to fit what's going on right now within the market. So this hygiene and safety, working at home, schooling at home. And we heard from so many distributors that they wanted to put together website pages or content around those products but it was taking them a long time and they and they didn't know how to do it so we just did it for you i've been working with most of the suppliers that don spoke about as well as others to curate product sets so that we know that those products that are on this template are usable today they're sellable today they're not sold out before they actually make supplier shelves so that is really what this template is about it's got all of the information and all of the product sets that are already put together for you for um, some of the products that we even spoke about today. And all you've got to do to get this website set up and ready to go is go to your Distributor Central account and under Websites and then the Hosting Manager. All you've got to do is click add new website and distributor central will host as many websites as you want we'll host your domain name at no cost we will create the website um, if you don't even want to use the wizard which is super simple or we've got a quick start program that we can email out to you as well but we'll host your website domain or we'll give you a domain um, for you to use but to use that website that we've been talking about today in the session all i have to do is click use this template and give my website a name. I'm going to call this one virus promo and then select my logo from my computer. And the logo will upload. The website wizard will finish up my website for me. And as soon as I do all of that, I now have a website in just a matter of clicks that is customized to myself and my brand that's got my contact information on it. And I can start to use this website to promote to my customers. And it's already pre-built with, all, with, with the, all the products we spoke about today. Um, and that's all you would need to do to get this going. It's a completely free resource to you as a distributor. There's other things that you can do with this website. If you don't want to use the curated set of products that's on the site, um, you can use our brand new tool that's rolling out on Monday that is so, so, so cool. You can create product collections in a couple of clicks and have a new set of products onto this template. You don't have to use this template. We have all other templates that you can go out there and use as well. Um, so this is a way that you can take that curated set of products that we've been talking about, put them together in a very quick manner that's branded to you, and get this out to your customer so that you can start generating um, order activity. Um, I'm, the chat functionality is open, and you can send me in any questions. So I'll just keep talking a little bit about some of the other, some of the way that these tools are used. Um, when I created that folder and I put virus promo in. This is Distributor Central's holder domain. So this is dcpromosite.com. So it called my new website viruspromo.dcpromosite.com. I don't have to use that. I can buy my own domain from like a GoDaddy or another registrar. Um, and Distributor Central will host that for free. And I could call it anything I wanted or create subdomains from it. 
Um, but this is a tool that you can go out and through your distributor central account in just a couple of clicks have that website up and ready to go with, with very little work. We have got a ton of webinars that you could also get more information on. And we've got some new webinars coming up next week. Um, we're hosting a webinar with Cap America, um, with uh, not Cap America, with um, Outdoor Cap, so their Cappy Hour. And then we've also got a brand new tool rolling out next week that's a collection manager that makes curating product sets 100,000 times easier than the, what it's been in the past. And I've got a new template coming out next week as well that is um, got a virtual design tool on it. So, and that's not even announced yet, but that is coming out next week. So we've got a new template that you can use. It's got a virtual design tool um, embedded on it um, for, for a curated set of products. So you can give your customers the ability to um, be able to see what their logo looks like on products. Um, we do the website template solution. You can not, you don't have to use all of the collections that are on the template. You could break this down into just work at home essentials or just curbside delivery. You could also take the product sets from each one of these segments and apply those product sets onto an existing website. So if you're already you've got a website on Distributor Central or you want to add an additional link to it, you could take those product sets and not use the PPE template or the COVID-19 template that we've created. Um, you can see, um, you could just use those other product sets. So there is, a, there is, when I was looking, when I created my little site, just for as a demonstration, I did use my Distributor Central logo just because for demonstration purposes. But this wizard will allow you to upload your own logo into a JPEG or a PNG file um, and apply your own logo. We will never rebrand um, websites in any capacity. The template is there for you to use and to customize further. And our team is certainly ready and ready to go to help you um, help you do that. Let me see if there's any other questions that are kind of um, that I could answer pretty quickly before Don turns me off. Um, you can, so you can set the product sets. If there was products that on the set that you didn't want to use, our new collections manager that comes out to, on Monday is so, so, so easy. You could easily build this to be your preferred suppliers or specific product items. Um, so you could, in a very, very easy way, in a couple of, in a, again, just very simple in a couple of clicks, remove products or uh, make sure that you're only including your preferred suppliers. So a couple other questions. Um, this is, this website is complete, um, completely e-commerce enabled. So once you've created your template or any template in Distributor Central, um, and I'm just giving everybody just a, such a quick synopsis of what's capable, but you can apply your payment gateways and this website's completely e-commerce enabled and ready to go. So if you wanted to add your payment gateways to your website, as your customers are walking through the checkout, they can add their payment information at point of purchase. So everything from these suppliers is built into a shopping cart program. Um, so I can just walk through, choose the number I need to order, upload my logo as an end user, and my order is going to go to, and so this is because I'm in my own demo account, it's going to send it to me at Distributor Central at this point, but I can add my logo and my customer can put their credit card information in and check out. Um, I'll make sure we're at, um, making sure we're answering any questions that might come in. And again, um, one of the questions that I keep getting in is that, is asking how much this costs. Distributor Central is a totally free program. Um, and a completely free product research, order management, customer management tool for you as a distributor, as well as a website hosting platform. This template's already done and ready for you to use. Um, if you have more questions and you, um, you don't know if you have a distributor central account or you will have more questions about all the functionality, places that you can go to get additional help, I'll pull that up. So here is um, contact information. Here's my information. My email's ttar at distributorcentral.com or info at distributorcentral.com. And here's our phone number. Please feel free to reach out. 
um, and we'll make sure that you have an account, that you know how to use it, um, and that we can get you any resources that you need. Also on the on our Distributor Central's website, there are all of our upcoming webinars as well as some classic webinars like how to create a website, setting your account preferences, which includes um, how to set your payment gateway and your payment preferences, and then what to do once your site starts generating orders. So we always try to keep a good amount of webinars up every week on Distributor Central. Um, so there's always resources here to be able to help, but you can also reach out to us as well. Um, so I would I mentioned I said the word subdomain, which is now kind of becoming a hot topic in the in the chat. So what a subdomain is is if you've purchased a domain name. Um, so if I went out and bought Tiffany'sPromos.com from another registrar. I could use a subdomain to extend the marketing ability of my of the domain that I just purchased. So I could create a subdomain that was hats.dc or tiffany'spromos.com or healthcareproducts.tiffany'spromos.com. Um, and we can help you set that up in your account. So you could create microsites or targeted marketing websites on Distributor Central to market to specific market segments or you could always put them all together onto one website, or you could use a subdomain to branch them out into targeted market websites. Same thing, and a lot of times distributors will use that with company store solutions as well. Um, there was some questions in regards to uh, um, the websites and SEO capabilities. All of the websites are come with sitemaps, and we have SEO tools that you can use um, you can also, the websites you can use Google Analytics to start tracking your website and the activity and where customers are coming from. Um, in regards to payment gateway information, payment gateways that I know are available just off the top of my head is um, PayPal, um, Authorize.net, Stripe, all of, the, all of the standard ones. You can incorporate those payment gateways into your distributor central account for point of purchase sales. And again, every, there is not one tool that I've talked about today or one part of Distributor Central that is not already included and available to you as a free resource to you as a distributor in the industry. Distributor Central is 100% sponsored by suppliers listing products on the system. So everything that we do is sponsored by our suppliers and it's technology that they want you to have available to be able to have a very robust and modern technology solution and platform that you can sell to your customers. Um, I think that I've, I think I've addressed almost all the questions and I know that we've been running over an hour today. I think I've addressed most of the questions that have come in in a kind of a global manner. Um, I will, if there's other questions that I didn't, you felt like I didn't answer or, and I'm going to get the list of questions as well, but you can always reach out to me or info at distributorcentral.com and we can, I'll make sure to get those answered for you. But I really do appreciate everyone taking the time to, um, join today's session on a Saturday. I'm going to see if I can let Don talk again. Um, let me see if we can make this happen and see if he can close this out. Um, and let him know, I'm texting him to let him know that he can start, he can start talking over me. Okay, maybe he can't, maybe he's not. But um, again, if anybody's got questions, you can always reach out to either one of us and we'll make sure to help you. And we would love to see you start a website or a company store or whatever on Distributor Central's website platform. And today's session is being recorded. So everyone will get a, Wait, Don, a copy I, of it. But I didn't hear what Tiffany said because my computer was not, my sound was not off, but she's just great. So uh, please listen to her if you would. Um, all I know to do is to be honest with you and tell you, you've got to build sites moving forward. And 
I'll send you everybody the replay who's left on the webinar with those email addresses. And all I can say is we really appreciate you listening today. And I hope the virus doesn't affect you too badly. Thanks again. Bye.